She's not going to hey guys, Unfair here. Welcome back to another episode of Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. This is actually one of those tips that the guy that wanted the neuropazine would give you. He points you to this courtyard. So there's the key card, which we didn't find. There's also a grate over here that we could get into if we lifted this thing off. But we don't have the super strength right now because we haven't gotten our augs yet. So, you know, shotguns. Now, I can't remember if we've shown this off yet, but you can actually change the ammo on your guns and also equip and unequip silencers and other stuff. And if it's a semi-auto, full-auto gun, you can change that as well. This one appears to only be semi-auto. That is rather quiet for a shotgun. That's kind of awesome. The police really don't come into that alleyway anyway from what I've seen. But it was fun giving that a shot. So this again points us to the Swan Cleaning Service. And apparently if you're augmented, this drug kills you. So yeah, we won't be taking any of that anytime soon. I don't believe there's anything else in here really. At least from what I remember. Apparently these people really do not like us. <laughs> I'm not sure why all these people freak out when they see you, because they weren't even around when we blew up the door. We'll see if the rest of the city bugs out too when we go back out here. So, we need to go to that swan cleaning service real quick, and then we should be done with this part of the city for a little while. And it's right by the train station anyway, so pretty good location. Oh yeah, and I forgot to get those silenced pistols as we ran away from the apartment. We'll grab those on the way back as well. What the hell? Let's see, that was in one of these vans. I can't remember, it wasn't this one I don't think, but we'll check just in case. Nope, nothing in that one. That one's got a cop sitting right next to it, so I don't think we want to rob them. I always get a little nervous. Let's see, I think it was down here, right? 33? Uh, actually it's over here a little bit. Alright, well, we'll take a detour over there and grab that real quick, because I would like one of those silence pistols. Shouldn't take too long. Not much going on. I believe it was this truck right here. Yep. Oh, it's a stun gun, not a pistol. Whatever, I'll take one of those too. What is this? I guess I probably should have put that silencer on my pistol then. But whatever, it's kind of cool on the on the shotgun. You can take out bigger guys with that. More than a few around. Uh, apparently, Jensen does that stumbling thing when he's tired when you've been running a while. I didn't realize that. I don't think I've ever run into that previously. Terrifying. Mm -hmm. 
Myslím, že to bylo někdo. All right, so we have to get up to the cleaning service. I can't remember which one it said it was in. It must be this one here. But I just remember that you can go through this to get to it. Really nothing in those lockers. It's kind of disappointing. All right. I'll you. Actually, coming in this way kind of destroys one of the coolest parts. There's uh, a secret wall here. I'm not sure if we can close this from here. But normally you have to use this spray bottle to open the, the secret wall. There's actually another breakable wall here. I can't remember... I can't remember if that goes into a hallway or... another breakable wall there too. Well, maybe we'll try and break it on the way out. The main thing we want is that safe over there. I ah, shouldn't have picked that up. We don't need it. <sighs> I hate all the alcohol in this game because it really doesn't do anything for you. It's just kind of annoying and then you can't spam E to pick stuff up. So, Security rating 4, we can't get into that, but we could make a multi-tool, which is what we're going to do. And it looks like we have the inventory space for it, too. So we can craft that, and then equip it. And then we just point and click. Well, supposedly. Sorry, I forgot you have to hold it down. I was thinking it was one click like the, the original game for some reason. I don't really use these all that often in this game. I usually just get my hacking level up pretty quick and then use that instead. So this one is talking about where they manufacture the drugs. It gives us the code for it, but it's somewhere beneath the Zellin apartment complex in the sewers. We've actually kind of been in the, the area. It's kind of by that casino that we were in before. But we're not going to do that one right now. We'll come back for that later. All right. Well, we're leaving now, so let's give this wall a shot and see what happens. I really don't want to waste all this ammo, but... Oh, come on, break already. Well, that is annoying. Finally. Oh, okay, yeah, this, uh, this kind of takes us into a back alleyway sort of thing. There's a few different levels here. I think there is some useful stuff down here, though. If I remember correctly. Yeah, okay. Well, that was kind of worth it. <laughs> Looks like some guys kind of heard us shooting there at the end, though. I think you can actually punch through a wall to get out here. But I really don't want to waste the ammo that it would take to do that right now. And where does this vent go? Let's check that out real quick. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, that's the one we came up before. Alright, we'll take this door out just to go out a different path. <laughs> that's it? Crafting parts? Thanks a lot. Alright, we're getting into a lot of storage lockers already. This sucks. Oh my shit. Oh my 
So they have a hard time finding you if you holster your weapon and then kind of get away from the area where you, you were detected. So now we're just going to head back to the subway and go back to the guy that was being besieged in that bookshop and finally get our augmentations back. What was this one? Oh, that was the religious zealot one. Alright, we'll do that one later. So that bookstore, we actually run into one other side mission on the way over there. Uh, we might as well take care of that too. It's kind of a little bit of action. You want to be right over here. Don't forget about you. Doc Larry, Doc Larry. Show me latest papers. Otherwise, you cannot go through. I know the drill. The drill has changed. Too many forgeries. All Augs must now carry a supplementary permit authentication card. Do you have this card? This guy's pretty brazen. Remember that other person was kind of scared shitless when we had our orange level authentication or whatever? My documentation's never been a problem before. It's not about to become one now. You sure about this? I am policeman. You see uniform. You see gun. You know, now that you mention it, your setup looks a little odd. Budget cuts? No need to insult us. Times are difficult for a regional document checking police. Put air quotes around that police. But fact remains. If you continue this way without newest permit, I am legally obliged to shoot you. Is that right? You can try. My friend, I know what you're thinking. It's terrible the way they make laws against your kind. But listen, maybe I can do something to help. We could come to an understanding. What kind of understanding? Lucky for you, I know a guy. An expert in... Uh, permitification. A document agent. He offers permits, authentication cards, Peace of mind. With his help, you go wherever you want, whenever you want. No more hassles. What do you say? So, we actually do want to know where that is, so we might as well play along. This document agent you mentioned, you see the one in charge? He gets you to stop Oggs and offer them this opportunity to do business with him. Go see for yourself. My friend has documents to pass checkpoints to keep police off your back. You get into parts of Prague you never knew existed. Tell him Drahomir sent you. You'll see. I give you address, yes? Sure, why not? All right, give me the address. I think I'd like to see who's behind all this. <laughs> that, that's Ashka. very accurate. That's There's the a courtyard behind the this. apartment building. Very easy to find. My friend will be there. He will get you latest permit card. Just pay him and don't ask questions. Don't worry, I don't have any questions. Okay, so is that close? Yeah, that's pretty close. We're gonna run and do that before that we get our hard. hogs. I'm serious. Get a little bit I of spending him. cash. Shouldn't take too long. Now I can't remember which of these guys is looking for. This area is restricted to you, Bob. This Get one, I guess. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently you help Ogs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Nope. Maybe. Want to tell me what I'm paying for exactly? 
You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs, she works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. That's pretty steep. And we don't have the money for that, obviously. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Augs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. Trust me. The girl is very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look. Just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. <laughs> Melina does surprisingly good work. Puts more effort in than we ask her to. So, I don't really want to insult or attack right now. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances without the papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night. Yeah, they won't be coming knocking on my door. So. The dude that was guarding this door, he's not there anymore. Wonder what that Vano guy wanted to talk about. You're nothing but a memory of what they... Whoops. We kind of pissed them off. Uh, I thought you could get in these windows for some reason. Well, alright, whatever. Excuse me while I murder these guys. Oh, out of ammo. Well, that's nice. Anyone else want some? Oh, you do too, huh? Uh, I don't have any ammo for that one either. Okay. Well, I guess we're putting this guy to sleep then. Oh, uh, we got a police drone coming in here. Alright, we need these guys' ammo. I usually don't like to hunt around this much, but I wasted a lot of ammo, so we need a few pick-me-ups. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen this route before. Must be another way to get in here, I guess. Not gonna bother with that right now. What? Apparently, there's a camera there. Be nice to set something in the courtyard. This would have been a lot easier if we could just go in those windows. Sends now. Yes, it does end now. Thanks for the ammo, by the way. All right, 1980 for the code for the security hub, which should be this.
Wow, that is really janky when you try and click on it. I've never actually tried clicking on those ones before. Remind me never to do that again. Alright, that should do it. Get rid of our gun so we don't scare the daylights out of this girl. If you... Please, don't shoot me! You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? <laughs> I think you work for those <laughs> That's scam a generous artists description. out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like uh, social services for the disaffected. You know, like no AUG left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. Well, she has I, the right hair color for to, it, at least. To be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? That, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... Which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look. I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys. Not like Drahomir. Sure. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Essentials. Right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain. It's the government. They print up these official permits each month. But they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other Orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. That's where the Udalak complex comes in. Whatever your intentions here, you're part of a criminal operation. So that's what the shady types were all about? Gee, thanks for pointing that out. The gun in my face wasn't a clear enough indication. The city cracking down on forgeries and my friends all getting deported anyway. That was all part of my master plan here. Ah, we made her sad. When things got out of hand, obviously I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahumir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... Like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? Yep. Don't you? Yep. I like knowing there are other options. Nope. Okay, so stab him, <laughs> scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone. We should do whatever we can, right? 
We actually need her help later, so we need her to stick around. It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries, so the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Sure, why not? Alright, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. Alright. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drachomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. We've already taken care of the guys outside. They won't be a problem. Thank you. As mysterious military types go, you're pretty neat, I guess. Thanks. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. Sweet. What about you? I'm way ahead of me. Sweet. Two, four, eight, nine. Where's this magic safe? I was looking at the air vent when she said it. So anyway, those two permits that she gave us, those were the ones that I was talking about needing her later, so I guess we don't have to come back and see her, actually. But that follows up on this quest. Uh, we don't need those closed. I think those might have actually closed because we set off the alarm. Ah, here's the safe. Two, four, eight, nine. Not that many credits, actually. Let's see if we got anything we need to replace here. I really don't need reveal software. Might as well take the frag grenades instead. Alright, so. We have those guys that are guarding the checkpoint still. I want to take care of them, and then we need to get our friend out, finally. He's been waiting long enough in his bookstore. Just because Drago what a place. Doesn't mean Let's see, she said there was a friendly cop around here somewhere. Great. The guy's a scam artist. Everyone knows it. She's got it in for them. Ah, here we go. Not from here, are you? What gives it away? You just walked up to a police officer. And I have this funny feeling you expect something good to come <laughs> out of it. I recently got stopped at a fake checkpoint. Heard there was a cop around here who might know what I'm talking about. Draumir, he's a slippery fuck. Pays off all the right people, provides all these bullshit documents that prove he's legit. Regional inspector, my ass. I'm putting a file together. A file? This guy's dressing up like a cop and harassing Augs in the street. <laughs> Sounds like 90% of the people I work with. Listen, the right amount of coin in the right kind of pocket, fancy looking paperwork, those things go a long way in this city. Especially if the perception is that he's not really doing anything wrong. Just giving Augs a hard time. There's more to it than that. That's exactly what I think. Why don't you fill me in? What's Drahomir been up to behind my back? Drahomir's checkpoint is the setup for a forgery ring. 
He's not just stopping Ogs and giving them a hard time. He's not just taking people's lunch money. It's extortion. This forgery ring. You have an address? I was inside. I saw the equipment. You know what? You had me back at harassing. I've been dying for an excuse. A chance to go after someone who actually deserves it for once. No more hiding behind the people he bribes. I suggest keeping your distance. Oh boy, I want to see this one. Official police business now. Stay out of it. We could probably get over using that if we wanted to. Oh boy. You guys are not so good at shooting, are you? Hey, they got a drone involved. That's not gonna end well. Milena, I've got an update on your friend Dravimir. I've seen Drachomir pretend to be many things. My friend was never one of them. It's been taken care of. He's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank God. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did. Listen, if you ever need documents for something... I'll be fine. Thanks. So I kind of want these combat rifles, but I don't know if I have anything to drop, really. Maybe we can come back and get them after we get our AUGs, because we'll have more space then. We can expand our inventory. That should be pretty quick here. That guy tells us we can't be here. It's kind of a restricted area. He's one of the guys trying to take down our friend. There's this guy in the wall. A oh, civilian. Huh. So there was another guy over here somewhere. Saw him run off. Anybody else? Yep, yeah, there's another one. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. Two more. Three more. Third guy go. Ah, shoot. There he is. Turn it. All right, man. Holy shit. Come on. These guys are a little bit far away. Can I hit him? I can't tell. I don't think so. <laughs> I think we might have just cleared out the entire bookstore here. Probably don't have to fight anybody if we go in now. That actually might make things a little bit easier. There's two more guys here. Somewhere over here. Come on, guys. I was gonna heal up, but I guess we really don't need it. It's going pretty quick now. Where the hell did they go? Oh, uh, they run back inside? 
No? That is so weird. I'd swear there were two more guys outside here. Alright, uh, what can we get rid of? I really don't like having my inventory this full all the time. You know what? We'll pick those up on the way out as well. It does look like there's, there's three more guys in here. At least. Make sure he's dead this time. I'll keep watch from here. Yeah, you do that. He's gone. He can't be gone. Where are these guys? It says they're on my level. You hear that too? Yep, I hear it. That should do it. All right. Hey, friend, where are you? It's safe. You can come out now. If these guys were wimps. If you had just picked up a gun, you would have been fine. Jensen, thank God. I'm down in the dungeon, man. You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. I spotted the white outline before you even said anything. All right, time to get these hogs back. Yes. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Nope. They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sad fogs of yours. A real close look. You sound creepy, dude. So, uh, Back off a little bit. So let's strap you in. Get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Ah, feel my way around. 